Hello guys, it's Megagov1702 and I'm here with some very exciting news on Arma 3 Soundfront. How much time have you spent guessing variables such as RPM, thrust, rotor thrust, G factor Z, whatever, you name it, you guessed it, we have all spent so much time guessing them, listening for them. But now, now we have something much better. I have annoyed the great great Frankie long enough to implement some very awesome functions into the game that can allow us to show these variables. Frankie is the guy who pretty much coded the upgrade of Arma 3's sound engine. Sound sets, sound shaders. He's the guy behind it. Praise Frankie, hail Frankie. Oh yeah. Let's look at what's possible with these functions. We can now view all environmental variables. Let's call them sound controllers. We can view all environmental sound controllers. Like trees, for example, meadows, distance, whatever. I don't even know what distance is, but it's awesome anyway. These are all available environmental sound controllers. There are no more, which is pretty epic. Thanks to Keiju, we have this nice silent hint on the right corner, which shows all the values like one after another. Also, thanks to Keiju, we can filter these values for values above zero, which shortens the list a lot. And, you know, it just looks cleaner. Thank you, Keiju. You're epic. You can also just view one environmental sound controller, like trees, for example. It's pretty epic. What about vehicles? Well, guys, we can now view vehicle sound controllers. Oh, yeah. And I mean all of them. All of them. Updated in real time by the script provided by Keiju. Thanks, Keiju. This is pretty epic. I mean, you can see all the available vehicle sound controllers. You can also filter them to values above zero. And you can just view one of them. What's also very helpful, in my opinion, is the option to calculate the result of a simple expression in your configuration. I mean, this is fucking awesome. I'm loving this. Uh, this only works for vehicles, so if you're a soldier, nothing's gonna happen. As a soldier, you can only view environmental variables. But hey, that's cool. Okay, guys, I mean, this is pretty epic, right? This is, I mean, how much guest time? Oh my god. We can finally see this. So first of all, Thank you to Frankie for programming the audio engine upgrade and for listening to the community so closely. And in this case, I mean, maybe just one Skype chat, <laughs> but thank you anyway for implementing these functions. This will help out a ton. Thank you to Keiju for uh, helping me with the formatting. I mean, I, have, I would have had no idea how to present this information in a useful way. And last but not least, thank you Dusa the audio lead of Bohemia Interactive, for pushing Arma 3's audio engine. It has been a long time coming and you are making it possible, so keep pushing. Thank you, of course, to Bohemia Interactive's executives, who have hired Frankie back again and allowed Dusa to do what he does. So please, keep pushing Arma 3's audio, give them more resources, more manpower, because if you look at the Tanoa environment sound feedback, it's, ep it's epic. The audio guys are doing an amazing job. Once they have given, once they have the, once they have been giving the time and the resources. All right, guys. I hope you're as excited about this as I am. I have written documentation on the wiki. I have created this, uh, created this example mission, and I will post the links into the forum thread. The link to which will be in the video description. See you later.